What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, this week we have a few things going on. Uh, one, we have Extra Glory this week, as well as we have a new version, or a new difficulty, for the Nightmares on the Moon. And we're actually going to get into all of that, including the uh, weekly reset. So let's go ahead and start with the weekly reset first. So, starting off with the tower, on the left hand side, we have uh, your... Weapon frames that you need to complete, you need to complete two of those, as well as find four chests, eight bounties for Gambit, get 5,000 XP for your clan, and go ahead and collect Vex parts, and I'm pretty sure it's like a hundred percent of those. Coming over here, we need to go ahead and complete eight gunsmith bounties, as well as eight crucible and um, vanguard bounties. Coming down to the Vanguard, we need to go ahead and complete three uh, strikes, and then go ahead and complete five Nightfalls, the Ordeals, as well as a 100,000 points. Coming over to Gambit, for Gambit Prime as well as Gambit, you need to go ahead and complete three matches, and I think those just coincide with each other, so you just need to do three of each, um, of one or the other, not each. Um, and you can even mix and match them as well. Coming over to Crucible. We need to complete go, uh, four core matches as well as uh, four rotary matches. And rotary matches are Team Scorched as well as Countdown. And everything else, if I'm correct, are core matches. Yep, everything's core. Coming over to Moon. As I did say uh, a little bit earlier, we do have a new difficulty on these and it is the hero versions and it's just a little bit harder with a little bit more modifiers as well as uh, we actually need to do three of those. So go ahead and do that. Then we have a um, thing that we need to complete for Eris Morn as well as the Vex Offensive. Coming over to the Tango Shore, we have your uh, Heroic Adventure, which apparently isn't like a good one. But anyways, uh, then we also have your uh, Flashpoint for the week, and you need to complete public events, Lost Sectors, and Heroic Adventures. If you do the Heroic versions of this, you can get it done faster. Now real quick, um, I am going to mention that even though it's not part of the Weekly Reset, Petrovent is in Ray Sylvia this week, but... Once you, when you are actually this high in level on 928, probably when you hit 900, what you want to do when it comes to your reset, you want to pay attention to a couple things. And this is what you want to pay attention to. Where it says powerful gear and it says tier one, you want to go ahead and grab those first everywhere before you go ahead and move on to tier two. Then you want to go ahead and grab tier two stuff and then you want to go ahead and move on to tier three. That's how you want to progress in powerful gear because you don't want to get a tier three and then go to tier one like after. That's very, very small um, level increases. So make sure you do tier one, tier two, then tier three first in all of the challenges. So real quick, what I want you guys to do today, as well as every single day after the reset, whatever the reset time is for uh, your area, is go to the gunsmith and go ahead and pick up any mods that you that he has available that you are able to pick up. Long story short, go ahead and buy any new mods here that you do not have, because you can actually put that on your gear later on, even if you're not going to use it now. So let's go ahead and see what Tess Everest has for us at the Eververse this week. So we have the fire team, uh, fire team fire up emote, and I guess this. Uh, oh, interesting! Three people. That's a, the very first three people emote. Uh, then we have the sky uh, perdition, which is the ornament for the divinity. Looks pretty cool. Then we have the great white, which is an ornament for the hammerhead. Coming down here, we have the Invasive Species uh, Vehicle. 
pretty much just looks like a uh, Vex uh, speeder. Then we have the Lunar Shell, which I think already looks pretty cool. Like a little, your ghost is like inside of a little mini moon. That's awesome. And then we have your Nostalgic Engram. Coming down here for the Bright Dust, we have your Gleaming Moon of Vanguard, Gleaming Moon of the, of the Crucible. Then we have the Atmospheric Glow Shader. It's pretty dark. Actually, that, that actually looks pretty cool, I will say, with the, uh, with those colors. I like that. Uh, then we have the Royal Welcome. Not so much like in this. Eldritch Effects, Transmat Effect. This wonderful ship that nobody likes, and if you do, uh, yeah. Contemplating your life choices. Then we have the Chalice Projection, Ghost Projection. Coming down, all of the seasonal offerings are the same, as well as the archive. For the Bright Dust, we have Cup of Tea. Is it me or did emotes get like so much more expensive? God. Then we have uh, the Tall Tail Ship. Then we have PS1 shell. Looks pretty cool. And then we have the Dream of a New World ornament for the Sturm. Then we have the Insomnia ornament for the Nightwatch. The European Cartographer Strides. For uh, Hunters, it's a universal ornament. And then we also have the Aeronautics of China projection. That's pretty interesting. Coming down here, we have the Consumables, Gleam Boon of the Vanguard, of the Crucible, uh, Oiled Gunmetal Shader. Kind of looks retarded on my character. Then we have the Nightmare Emergence Transmat Effect. That's uh, pretty cool. We'll do that one more time. I like that. Then we have the Mercurian Sunrise Shader. The Reef Shimmer Transmat Effect. As well as the Taken Arrival. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Tell us a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more Destiny 2 content, and hit the bell to turn on notifications so you don't miss it out on any new videos. If you guys would like to get a hold of me, then you could do so by joining the Red Room Discord. It's a Destiny 2 LFG community that allows other content creators and streamers to post their videos and when they go live. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys in the next video.